But hey, what's happening, guys? So I just want to get back to me train some other series. Been a few days since I've done the recent episode in which we did the second part of our learning the ropes mission. And just like last time, I'm going to focus on the uh, on that on that railway for the time being. So we go down to the Seattle Carlisle Railway and we'll look for the final run part two in which we will be picking up where we left off from the first part in which we did a couple of episodes ago. Alright then, so this is the final run part two of the damn business. Good evening, driver. After performing a reversing move from the yeah, uh, Ripple Head, you've arrived back to Platform 1. Please release the doors to allow passengers to board for the return journey. Oh, so we're going back the way we came from our previous episode. It's just an exact carbon copy of the first mission. We're actually going the uh, opposite direction. So let's go back to Sector Player. Yeah, we're on the right track. According to the uh, map that we're on. <coughs> According to the 2D map. Otherwise, we would have uh, gone the opposite direction. And the uh, whole task would have been a fail. A sham, as I like to call it. Right, once the uh, passengers are on board, we'll get going. Mm. This is only a uh, two passenger train. I'm not, it's not really that long, but at the same time, it's not that short either. Alright then, let's get going. Alright, there's no need to uh, blow a horn here. Right, because we're in a 30 uh, mile per hour zone, in fact, we've got a 60 mile per hour zone right in front of us, so there's no need to go to study 30. Alright, let's floor it, because we've only got. Five minutes to our next station, it's only a mere less than five miles away. Right. In fact, there's not, there's not much to see when it's only a, a two carriage uh, passenger train. You, you're just looking at exactly the same uh, carriage that just passes by. Only the uh, only it's back to back. All right, we're just approaching the air station, Horton in Ripplesdale platform one. It's an exact carbon copy of the last episode, which we have to stop at platform two. This time we're stopping at platform one. Uh, I thought the uh, I thought this episode would have uh, we'd be going further up the line, but to be honest, we're actually going. Yeah, just didn't think we'd be going back the way we came. Hi. So I've been uh, trying to uh, push my train to a standstill as soon as we get to the uh, platform.
the same mission, I wouldn't say would be uh, wouldn't be that creative. I mean, if we uh, went further up the line, like I just mentioned earlier, the episode would have been a lot better. Right, because I'm now a half a mile away, I'm going to slow the train down even further. Uh, we're not due to arrive there for, well we're supposed to be there by now, but obviously we got held up along the way, so we'll be out a bit later, but just as long as we're at the platform correctly, as well as uh, picking up all the passengers to send them off. Yeah, I doubt there in real life there'd be passengers on the train at this time anyway. Or obviously they've been on a, a uh, carnival during the evening or something like that. And uh, probably make, trying to make their way back home sooner rather than later. Yeah, you'd think if they'd done that, they'd be there be adding a few more coaches on, onto this train. But I'm just going to uh, put the thrall up there just to make sure I get there nice and so I'm not undershooting the target. But I'm actually going to slow it down as well so I don't overshoot the uh, station as well. <laughs> the platforms are actually a bit crowded from uh, where I'm coming from. I mean, the way I see, oh no, it's not. My apologies, it's not really that crowded. So I'm going to stop it here now. And I just wait. And I'll just switch to the uh, rear end camera so I can uh, give myself a better view. There you go. I think it's a far enough. Well, let's get these people on board and not some else. Alright, once we uh, clear Horton in Ribblesdale, we're on our way back to Saddle. Obviously, where the uh, entire route begins, if I zoom out, that that will be the end of the line. I guarantee you. See, very, very, very end of the line, right there. Once we um, go beyond, I mean, um, there's a chance we could go a bit further, but I don't think they'll let us pass the station. The uh, background noise. I uh, do have a TV on. I'm in my room all on, on my own. I have, a TV. I have a TV in my room. Alright, let's Alright, so I'll come back here as soon as I uh, reach the final station.
Alright, we've just finally come up to the end of uh, our mission now. We're just less than a mile away from uh, Settle Platform 1, which we, which is where the route actually begins. It's where we actually begin the, uh, well, it's actually where we began the first part of this mission. Don't forget that it's been split into two parts. I'm actually wondering if there's a mission where you have to do the entire routine. Uh, I'll just keep flicking through the uh, missions off screen just to see if you, if you can. And uh, once I do the uh, Day on the Ropes part 3, is uh, I'll uh, just see if that mission is there and uh, I can uh, try it out. I mean, there's a mission on the uh, Somerset Dorset Joint Railway where you can um, probably drive the entire routine. I was thinking of doing that uh, sometime later. Okay. Right, I'm going to slow it down now. I uh, arrived at the uh, settle station nicely. And uh, unlike the uh, previous episode, we didn't even uh, pass any uh, trains on the opposite line. And obviously on the number of ropes, you uh, pass through every top mark and you get a brief history uh, information. I don't think this, uh, well, was it? sorry, I just thought I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> I've actually forgotten what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I don't think this, uh, mission was, um, as good as the last one. Got the total down to a uh, minus one hundred. Stop just in time. Yeah. So I guess I'll come back to this when uh, I do learn the ropes part three. Right? I mean, it's, uh, it took me about 40 minutes to record this entire episode. So recording, yeah, just over 40 minutes.
And I think there are other locomotives you can try out on this uh, routine besides uh, the diesels, including this one, along with the EWS that we had on the uh, previous mission. Again, nothing. Thank you, driver. You have performed all required stops at the scheduled timetable. So uh, I didn't think it was uh, that hard, to be honest. I mean, we uh, stopped at all the uh, destinations. We. Uh, it's been some times in the Caribbean Horn just twice. So, again, oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is the year uh, 2015 update that came out late earlier this month. In case you uh, haven't noticed, it's been the last episode. Yeah, so we can do a um, fair return. Waking the neighbours who are driving a class 37 and got left behind class 66. We're going to ask him. Because the missions get harder. Ah, there you are. Taking stock. And got to be able to run around. Uh, once I do uh, the last part of laying the ropes, I'll do one of the ski missions or one of the class uh, 37 missions. Uh, either be waking up the neighbours or midwinter rescue. Or, or the uh, ribble run around. And then you've got the. Uh, taking stock so I thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys updated on this series later this week goodbye everyone